going to show you how to make this adorable cup cozy that also doubles as a wrist wallet. So as you can see, it has this little pocket here where you can put your gift card or your cash, however you want to do it. I like to get these gift cards from Starbucks and put it in the little pocket part and then slide it on one of these reusable cups that I get for two for one dollar at the Dollar General store. And this is what it looks like as a wrist wallet. It's super cute. Today I'm going to be using Lazy Days. This is from Lion Brand. It is a size 4, but it's pretty thin. You can use any size 4 worsted weight yarn. And this is the color taupe. I'm also going to be using a 3.75 millimeter hook and a very small button, either a 6 or 8 millimeter in size. And to begin, you're gonna to wanna to leave yourself a long tail for sewing purposes. We're gonna use it to sew the button on. Now we're gonna chain 35. And just to let you know, gauge is pretty important in this pattern, and you can find the gauge information in the description box along with the rest of the supplies. Then you're going to be careful not to twist your chain and bring your first stitch to meet your last stitch. We are going to not slip stitch. We're just gonna single crochet directly into the back loop only of every stitch around. So if you're wondering, this is the back loop here. So not the back comp, just the back loop. And you're gonna make one single crochet in every stitch around. And of course you should have 35 stitches when you're done. Here you are at the end. We're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to join, and we're gonna sew that gap up later with that beginning tail. For round two, we're gonna chain two, and of course, that does not count as a stitch. We're going to double crochet through both loops in every stitch around. So just continue doing that all the way around. And of course you should have 35 double crochet at the end of this round. Now we're gonna skip over the beginning chain and slip stitch into the very first double crochet to join the round. And that's what it should look like. For round three, we're gonna chain two and it does not count. We're gonna double crochet in every stitch around just like the last round. So just continue doing that all the way around and I will meet you at the end. At the end, you're just gonna skip over your beginning chain and slip stitch into the first double crochet to join. Now you're just gonna repeat the last round till you have around seven rounds of double crochet total and I'll meet you there. So before we move on, we need to grab a gift card to check the size and make sure that it's wide enough. And as you can see, it's not actually wide enough to hold this gift card. So I'm gonna do one more round of double crochet. So this is where you can sort of improvise if you're using a thinner yarn. So I'm gonna add another round. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put the card on it. And as you can see, it's just barely the right size and that's good. You want it to be at least the size of the card. Now, because we started with a round of singles, we're gonna end with a round of singles. So you're gonna chain one and single crochet in every stitch around. At the end, you're just gonna join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Now we're going to chain two, and that does not count. We're gonna work the pocket in rows, and this first row is gonna be through the front loop only. So we're gonna double crochet through the front loops only of the first 10 stitches. And remember that chain two does not count as a stitch, so you need to make sure you put one in that stitch. And the reason that we're doing it through the front loops only is because this is going to be folded up and we're gonna sew it down. And you, you don't want it to be bulky, so we're just doing it through the front loops so it will fold easier. And you need to grab the gift card and make sure that 10 stitches will be wide enough because this is gonna be what holds the gift card. Now we're gonna chain two and turn. 
We're going to double crochet in every stitch across, and of course that beginning chain 2 does not count as a stitch. So you should have 10 double crochet, or however many you needed for it to be wide enough to hold the gift card. So you're just going to repeat that last row until you have the same number of rows as you do double crochet rounds. So I have about eight rounds of doubles here, so I need to have eight rows of doubles for the pocket. So I'm going to add one more row of double crochet while simultaneously adding the button loop. So we're going to chain two and turn, and we're going to double crochet in the first five stitches. And this is the halfway point. So if you had to add more doubles to be wide enough, just go to the halfway point of your rows. And the size of your button loop will depend on the size of your button that you're planning to use. I'm going to use these, so I'm going to chain about five. But if I were to use this, I probably would have to chain more because it's a bigger button. So I'm going to chain five, and you're going to slip stitch as shown. So I'm going to slip stitch through the front loop only of that double crochet along with the side there of the stitch. It's kind of like part of the post. And you're just going to slip stitch through there in order to create your button loop. So as I was saying, this button is too big for this button loop. So that's why I say test out your button as you go along and do the number of chains that you need in order to fit your button. And then you're simply going to double crochet in your last five stitches or the rest of your stitches from your halfway point. Then you're going to cut your yarn and fasten off, leaving yourself a long tail for sewing purposes. You're going to fold the pocket up and sew the side seams down. So I'm going to use that long tail that I left myself, and I'm going to line up those rows there and start sewing my pocket down. And then of course you're going to sew the other side down, and I'll meet you there. So before you move on, I would just double check and make sure that the gift card fits in the pocket. Now I'm going to add the button and sew the gap that we had at round one with our beginning tail. So this is the beginning tail that we left ourselves, and I'm just going to sew that little gap shut there. It shouldn't be a very big gap at all. And then I'm going to flip this piece inside out so that I can make sure that I'm sewing the button on in the center because this is technically that outside right here. So I'm going to line up this button loop and make sure that I put my button in the center where it will be lining up with that button loop. And then I'm just, before I make it permanent, I'm going to make sure it's a good spot. And it looks good to me, so I'm going to weave in my tail. And this is what it should look like. Now we're going to make the bow, and I'm going to flip the piece so that the wrong side is out again. So you want to be able to see the seams of your pocket. And then you're going to use that button loop as a guide to show you where the middle is. So turn it so that the pocket seam is in the back, and then you're going to fold the front like I'm showing you here. And then you're just going to sew these layers together like I show you here. I'm only really tacking it. I'm not sewing it very hard because I don't want it to be super cinched. I want it to look cinched, but I don't want it to be real, real thin in the center. And make sure that you have it lined up 
because if it's off center, it's going to be noticeable. So I'm just going through two stitches that are side by side here in the center. And once I am satisfied, I am going to tie these tails together in knots. And like I said, don't do it too tightly. And then you have a couple of options here. You can take your tail and wrap it around the center, or you could add a piece of faux leather ribbon or any kind of ribbon. Just make sure it's soft because this will be against the wrist and could irritate people. So I'm just going to wrap this around the middle and make sure you're not wrapping it too tightly and keep those wraps tidy. Because remember, we're actually looking at the inside of the pocket. We're not looking at the outside. And then you're just gonna knot your ends together when you're satisfied. You could realistically add an embellishment to the front. So flip your piece so that the right side is out. This is what it should look like. I'm gonna add these little, this little button here because I think it's really cute and flowers are really popular right now. After you sew the button on, if you choose to do that, you're gonna take your tail back inside and then knot it off again. And I flip the wrong side out and hide the tails under that middle wrapped area. And then you just cut off the excess. And this is what it should look like. You, of course, would put your little gift card in the pocket portion, but it could be a wrist wallet like I'm showing you here. Super cute. They also carry these other neutral colored ones at the Dollar General, which is probably what I would use to gift this one because it matches it a little bit better. Or if you're wanting to make a Christmas gift, you can buy some of the festive ones they have and put a little bow on the front with a little gift tag and add your coffee gift card in the pocket portion. Makes a super cute Christmas gift and it doesn't take that long to make. But you are done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.